Throughout Asian culture, the crane is a symbol of all good things in Japanese, Chinese, and Korean storytelling. The crane is said to have a lifespan of a thousand years, so if you make a thousand paper cranes, you'll have good fortune. This story has been with me since I was a kid in Puerto Rico. Oh yeah, I'm from Puerto Rico. Born in China, but they moved to Puerto Rico to start a family. I was very happy. I got all the toys I wanted. I went to space camp, and I even had my own room. Life was great until I realized how spoiled I was. When I was 10 years old, my parents decided it would be best for my siblings and I to move to New York with my grandma. That meant one thing, a great education and future for my siblings and myself. They gave the ultimate sacrifice. Now I am expected to do the same. This has been on my mind since I started high school. I am starting to think more about my future and not disappointing my parents. Questions like, what college will I go to? What career am I supposed to pursue? Making cranes takes all the distractions away from me. Folding each and every crane calms my mind. Reaching that 1,000 crane goals also motivates me to keep making cranes. Making these cranes makes me wonder, what did I want to do as a kid? I want to be a doctor or fireman, police officer or astronaut. But now I figured that to become a doctor, it takes too long and costs a lot of money to get started. Firemen and police officers have to risk their lives and I don't want to risk my life. And since my space camp was hit by a tornado while I was there, I don't think they gave me proper training. I don't know what was going on in my mind as a kid, but these careers don't interest me anymore. All I know is that college will help me to have a good start for my future. Since I don't know what college I want to go to, which major I want to go to, it puts a lot of stress and pressure in me because I'm a junior now and college is right around the corner. I don't want to disappoint my parents because they sacrificed so much for me and I feel like if I were to let them down, it's like I'm wasting their sacrifice for nothing. Like, why are they sacrificing so much for me? What if I can't do anything. I can't make decisions for myself. The one thing I don't want to do is to disappoint them. Because ever since I was a kid, they had high expectations of me, even though I was a third child. They have a lot of trust in me. I don't want to waste all their efforts and their hard work. I feel like I'll disappoint them if I don't get into a good college. I just can't follow the dream as much as they want me to. How can a piece of paper turn into a beautiful crane? Something plain and flat created into a magnificent thing just by folding and reshaping. Sounds like what I want to be. I need to take control of my life. I'm like the piece of plain paper. Plain now, but later on, I can move into something great. These cranes will help me find my way.